What's up, everyone? It's your girl, Anya Phoenix. Welcome back to Parlor Talk, the conversation behind the hair. We're going to do the flip. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was just for a little flip, but it was okay. Almost Today, there. we're going to have some interesting little news. Um, and then we're going to kick into our little events that we did over the weekend. Super busy this week. Hey guys, yeah. what's up? This is D Dominguez. Welcome to Parlor Talk. We are definitely going to have an amazing podcast today, and we're going to talk like we always do. Keep us swaggy. My name's Shmoney. You already know I have a super raspy voice today. You know, this weekend was lit, and I'm ready to get down through there. I'm going to go ahead and let us know. So bless us with who you are. What it do, what it, it do. It's your boy DJ Smash, and I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. Yeah. He's here. So today, so thank you for coming to our partner talk today. Thank you and talk for to us. having me be a part of it. Always, Beautiful always. Beautiful event. Congratulations thank again. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, we had our grand opening for the plug this weekend. It was absolutely lit. We had the whole down south Cape Coral vibing with R&B music. We had some bachata, little salsa, some good food. And I'm mad. You are. He waited till I, I left to play the bachata. Oh, and they the were salsa. getting it. Oh yes, My they bad. were. Man. They were getting it. It was. We were inside listening to him. We all started breaking down dance. I'm like, you can tell us nothing but Hispanics right now inside the club. <laughs> we had such a good vibe. So I really do appreciate everybody that took their time out. Vendors, sponsors, mm-hmm. rolled up, really, really looked out, and just came out and supported something new that we're bringing to the city. It meant a lot to us. Yeah. And it was nice. It was, it was like a Real family nice. event. Yeah. It yeah. really there was. There were people here with their kids. Um, like even the 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 guy that was cutting the hair with the mask, what's his name? That's Samurai. He is Samurai. amazing. He had his two he boys had his with two him. Two boys yeah. and his wife. I love it. He's I love so it because family oriented. We are all we all mm-hmm. have family, so it shows that not only can you have a business, but you can also incorporate, incorporate your family your your family into your business. And I honestly, think it's very important because what it shows is your kids, like your mom and dad, are just not gone working all these hours. Mm-hmm. So that's mm-hmm. what I grew up on. My mom being a single mom, never seeing her, not knowing why. Mm-hmm. But when they're actually seeing what you're doing, the movement mm-hmm. and how fun it can be, and then mm-hmm. doing sales with them, like my son's a hustler. You're walking around handshaking everybody with the plug shirt. Yeah. Like, if you need anything, you get ten percent off. That and I'm over here like who who's ten percent off? He's like, well, mom. I hear you do that all the time. Aww. Okay, so I go ahead. But it's good because you're right. you're inventing a little entrepreneur yeah. without even mm-hmm. noticing it. So it's a blessing. I think there should be more events that is mixture with kids involved yeah. too. But the great thing was that Dante came through with his gaming bus. When I yes. mean that came through clutch. Yes. Yes. If you have any, any birthdays or events, make sure you reach out to him as gaming kids. It literally has PlayStation 4, 5. Um, it had like Xbox and mm-hmm. Nintendo. And a whole couch in there. And, and AC. And it kept the kids away yeah. for a long period of Until time. Until they got hungry. Not away. They were entertained. It, entertained. <laughs> entertained. <laughs> busy. And, it kept them busy. And then I had DJ Smash uh-huh. yes. killing the yep. music the whole night. When I mean, I worked with a lot of DJs. I didn't have to say nothing to that man. Mm-hmm. That was like the biggest blessing because hosting an event and being busy, mm-hmm. you honestly don't have time for those little extra yep. details. You yes. want somebody with the initiative that have, understands your vision. And hands down, you always have done that and I freaking yeah, appreciate that. Thank so you. I was going Going through Instagram and looking at random people's IGs, and I think I saw myself in almost everybody's Every single IG one. dancing. All I saw was red hair. I'm like, look at her swole self, her curly red hair popping, <laughs> and dancing. I was like, and I was like, oh, I don't even know this person. My daughter's like, mom, I've seen you in almost everybody's <laughs> IG, and I'm like, yep, that was me. So that I'll was talk me. about. I didn't even get food. My mom sold out her Puerto Rican buffet. Yeah, no, I like didn't three even o'clock. get it either. No, she was, and when I mean. Big things. She was cooking since 5.30 in the morning. Wow. Big things of rice, pork chuleta, pork mm-hmm. chops, and her pagalao salad. She made it specifically for Booms, for mm-hmm. Ivan Suarez, because he's a vegan. And he didn't even get it. He called me this morning. You know what I think is bull crowd? We're driving to Miami this morning. <laughs> and my, no, last night, he's like, my lips started getting watery. And I'm like, what am I missing? He's like, fuck, I haven't ate. <laughs> and he was so mad. He's like, I waited for that salad all day. I'm like, me too. I just wanted a chuleta. Mm-hmm. Couldn't get nothing. I couldn't even taste it either, because I waited, you know, so you know when I when you're here doing an event, mm-hmm. I was trying to help you a little yeah. bit. Oh, y'all I, came to you know, the clutch. I didn't want to like be eating instead of yeah. helping. So yeah. I was like, oh, I'll eat later. I'll eat later. So that, later. That later never happened. Well, thank <laughs> God for um, what was the barbecue? 
Oh, oh yeah, oh, barbecue barbecue? Pit. yo, that barbecue, big boys barbecue. My, brother, That's right. my son came out with Bang a big old like turkey leg. He's yes. like, Man, look at this, yes. <laughs> and barbecue everywhere. I'm like, can I get a piece? No, no mom, no. no. I went home. I, I got two platters. I got one for my son and one for myself. Thank God for that because. I was hungry. You better off me. I got the barbecue and homeboy was like, nah, you don't gotta pay. I was like, nah. That's love. I was like, bro, That's look DJ what you love. gave me. Yeah. I was like, bro, you gave me the, bro, the perks amount of, of being brisket. a DJ. <laughs> like I got sandwiches for days. For days. <laughs> well, no, I'm not gonna lie, I ate all that shit. No, and then Drew was killing and Drew freestyles with his yes. ch- chicken tacos mm. and all. He gave my son a taco with extra cheese because I don't eat chicken and cheese. Mm-hmm. I'm very plain. I don't eat vegetables. My son took that and never even brought it to me. <laughs> he done had everybody's food. <laughs> yes, he did. Except me. I saw no your sense. son eating from Drew. I, got a, I did get a quesadilla <laughs> from Drew at the beginning, like before we started, before oh, 3 o'clock. Because I had not eaten anything. And I was like, okay, let me put something in my stomach. And, you know, I only eat a little bit. So I had, it was funny because he's like, oh, how many do you want? I was like... Do you just sell one? Because I just I can only eat one. And he's like, one? Who Straight up. He looked at me like I was crazy. I was like, <laughs> he's like so You'll I be had back. gastric sleeve <laughs> surgery. My stomach is this small. I can only eat. He's like, oh, all right, all right, cool, cool, cool. So then he made me one, and it was so good. Nice. Oh, so yeah, good. I was I was thugging it afterwards. I started looking around. I'm like, oh, my God, everybody ain't got no more food. Like, I'm stuck. And I told my mom, you slipping up. Because if my grandmother was here, she everything that was plate. working would have had, had a plate delivered yeah. to them. We, yes. She does it every event. So I'm like, mm-mm. Yeah, I'm going to have to ship that woman back from Puerto Rico. <laughs> yeah, every time you have an event. Yeah, yep. period. Because she take care of me. I'm her favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Not low-key. I was my grandmother's favorite, too. But my cousins will say otherwise. But it's the truth. Oh, I, no, was she the very I was too. the first girl. I was the first girl. I was the first grandbaby. Um, my grandmother mm-hmm. used to close streets down for my birthday. So um, to all my cousins out there, y'all know the Hold truth. On. I think all the men can close the streets. Period. Yeah. We can have a party. Yeah. Any ah. excuse for a party, we party. Hispanics, period. Listen, somebody asked me to speak about my culture the other day, and I said, and they were like, oh, what's something that's celebrated in DR? I was like, everything. 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 Like, you don't understand. Somebody dies, we're, we're going to have a party. Somebody's born, we're going to have a party. Shut up. Look at them big ass Somebody got a job, we're going to have a party. When they turn one years old, why kids having parties at one years old? It's the parents drinking. We we celebrate that we done held you for nine months and we bought that sucker out. Listen, my, my, all my kids first, my, okay. So I was 15 when I had my first child, right? His first birthday party, which I mixed with his baptism, because I was Catholic at that time. It was, I was, I was 16. So it was all my high school friends. There was yeah. no kids. The only kid at my son's first birthday was him. <laughs> It'd be like that. None of my friends had kids. It so was that yeah, a to great do? celebration for yeah, him. Yeah. Well, all the presents. It was Talking lit. about parties, we know we got a big party coming up yes. that we talked about last yep. week on our podcast. Well, we got the shirt glowing and flowing right know. here. Yeah. You already know. So you want to go ahead and tell them? Because we talk about slow down all the time. So mm-hmm. coming from the mastermind of this... First well, of all, how did you? How I was did just about up, to say how that. How did you come up with the slow down idea? Okay, so the way initially it wasn't going to be called slow down. It was going to be called R and B under the stars. Okay. Oh, okay. And for four years, I was trying to get a venue to let me present this party, mm-hmm. and everybody was like, "No, no, we don't. That demographic is not going to work here." Blah, 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 blah. Whatever. Fine. All right. Here in Cape Coral, Fort Myers. I went down to Naples, um, Port Charlotte. Damn, I tried to, damn. When I'm telling you over a hundred venues, they all said no. Wow. That they is so sad. No. But everything happens for a reason, right? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Wound up getting with um Jungle Bird. Shout out to Jungle Bird. Love you guys. Love your food. Love your atmosphere. Love the staff. Thank you, guys. I messed Seriously. up the name last time. I, I, for some reason, I want to call it Tiki because they have a Tiki But it, it's called Jungle Bird Tiki. You see? see? So you it did see? have Tiki. Yeah. You yeah. see? I said yeah. I was yeah. right. I said right. Right. I was right. right. Jungle Bird Tiki Bar. See? Yeah. <laughs> we had a whole Darling. little, like, no, that's not <laughs> that's the not name. The name. <laughs> but yeah, um, I went up to Homeboy. I asked to see if, um, if I could do a day party. Mm-hmm. And um, he was like, well, what are you trying to bring to the table? And I said, look, I could... I'm going to make a party here. Strictly R&B music, grown and sexy. I want everybody, you know, 25 and over. I'm, I'm 41 years old, so I don't want to deal with any of the, the nonsense. So we're mm-hmm. So then um, he was like, all right, you know what? That sounds like a good idea. I'm going to need um, $21,000. What? God. So okay. I was like, 
Okay, so how about if I just get a certain part of the venue? He was like, all right, cut down the price. After the second one, he was like, bro, Run I need it. you to do this all the time. Can we do this mm -hmm. all the time? I said, no. I said, it I washes it out. Yeah. I was like, if I do this every month, nobody's going to come. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I want to set that expectation of what to expect and, you know, just everything like that. But thank God for Jungle Bird. And my girl was the one that came up with the name. Oh. Slow down. She was like, motherfucker, you are always running around. You're always doing this. You got three businesses. You got the kids. You got me. You got the baby mama drama. Slow down. <laughs> and I was like, nah, there's no time to slow down. You slow down, you get complacent, then it ain't going to work. She was like, you should name the party Slow Down. I was like, why Slow Down? And she played a song for me. And it was, the hook is Slow Down. Started going to church. The pastor kept on saying, slow down. Stop. Yo, wow. everything was hitting within a week. That's crazy. Slow down, slow down, slow down. That's how and he works. Sure, and sure enough, that's how he the works. name stuck and I'm running with Look it. Look at the I love universe. It. And I like it better too because you never want something that drags. You want something yeah. very straight to the point where when you're tagging people, you're making websites or t-shirts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. really just simple because yeah. simplicity goes a very long way. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And, not, and let me tell you something. As the 43-year-old, I appreciate the day party. Absolutely, I too. right? I appreciate because I'm not about the clubs anymore. Yeah, exactly. I'm not about the whole like... You know, dark and the flashing lights yeah. and this new music. The do, 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 do. like I can't. Like I'm <laughs> sorry, I just can't. Though. I just can't. So I appreciate your idea. Thank you. I mm -hmm. went to the last one and I had a blast. I did too. Like I got oh my so gosh, it was so much fun. Mm -hmm. It's like time traveling. Yeah. To like when we used to do house parties, mm -hmm. you know what Absolutely. I'm saying? Absolutely. Like up in New York and in Boston, like okay, so for the kids, like don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> used to cut school, yep. and go to somebody's house and just just hang out, out. That's chill, it. Yeah. just a nice smooth vibe. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. And it's definitely the age group that you yes yeah. push towards because mm -hmm. it is sad a lot of 25 and under are the ones that bring that animosity mm -hmm. they can't hold their mm -hmm. liquor they don't know there's a time and a place for everything mm -hmm. right, right so it's really refreshing to see not only hispanic blacks whites you have asian everything history, everything, everything, everything but everything. everybody's at a certain level that it feels like yeah, it's a family, but also we all got something to lose. We're all mm -hmm. business yeah. owners in there. If yep. you really paid attention, yep. there's nothing but boss-ass people in that straight room. Straight up. Room. And to be honest, I didn't expect that. And everybody after the first party was like, yo, I want to sponsor. I want to do yeah. this. I want to do that. And I'm just like, oh, damn, I didn't even realize that. Because I wanted to cater more to the crowd. Mm -hmm. I wasn't thinking about that bigger picture. Yeah. Never. But everything started happening. And I was just like, yo, let's run with it. And it makes sense. And making a concert mm. feel with it. So I wanted to... Yes. It wasn't only just the DJing behind it. It had to be an experience. Yes. And that's what I'm about. I'm always about the experience. I want to take you on a journey with me, music-wise. Mm. Old, new, something mm -hmm. different. Some stuff that you haven't even heard out here. Whatever it is. And just bring everybody together. R&B, you can't go wrong with. Ever. Period. And I love the fact that you and DJ Shorty Doo Wop mm -hmm. combine because I tell people I'm like it's a vibe like he'll play more of the men's like R&B mixture mm -hmm. she got the women and you got everybody going against each other yeah. and singing with her and I'm over here singing to every song yeah, I didn't yeah, even yeah. know it was like a little competition yeah. on two, two different DJs yeah. so I was really pop 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 and I'm like mm -hmm. no you gotta pick my song I'm like well no he, he playing jams <laughs> out he playing <laughs> jams it was like R. Kelly yeah. da -da 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 -da, mm -hmm. back to back I mean, my mom enjoyed it yes. and I could never take my mom mom with me to downtown for yeah. my just yeah. have some real shit yeah. Yeah. No. I'm more worried if somebody gonna pop off and start there was yeah. just a shooting, shooting this weekend yeah. all over the news that's my concern even with my little brother he's 25 and mm -hmm. I'm in the club and I won't even drink yeah, yeah. just because just so I'm you watching could be, I'm mother yeah. mode on him of course but mm -hmm. then we came here and we all drink I say we're no shot we good we in Cape Coral <laughs> yep. we stay but then it's you have security. Yeah. You have the police officers mm -hmm. running yep. them mm -hmm. ASAP there. And everybody, honestly, we're looking out for everybody. Yeah. And that's yeah. just so, it's refreshing. It's yes, really it refreshing. Is. So I appreciate it's the vibe. Absolutely. Thank I know you. the last one I missed because we was working an event. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, damn. 
See, mm-hmm. I be clearing out my so days ahead of me. So I be telling my man, um, baby, it's this day, and he <laughs> sucks with dates. So I'm constantly every other week. Da, da, da. I'm like, baby, this weekend. He's like, damn, it's this week. Yeah, clear it out. I need a date night. I don't care what we do. And I love the fact that you can go in sneakers. Yes. 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 The first time, everybody yes. was like super dressed up. Yeah. When you said slow down, r and I'm like 90s. Hit yes. Yes. I want yes. sneakers. Mm-hmm. I want to buy. So I was like, maybe I'm a little underdressed. But then the second one, there was more of a balance. Like mm-hmm. everybody kind of just came yep. in their own way. I and came I with sneakers, wore jeans, shirts, and a cute but, crop top and that's called it. it a day. I was so comfortable. That's it. I was like, I'm telling you, the whole experience was amazing. So I want to ask you, how mm-hmm. did you start becoming a DJ? Oof. What was the inspiration? Family. Um, cousins. Wait, wh- what nationality are you? Puerto Rican. Okay. Puerto Rican. Um, born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. So you're a New Yorker. A New Yorker. So my oh. Spanish is fucking horrible. Horrible. <laughs> that's right? my dad. That's there my you go. Dad. A mixture. Okay. That, that, that's, that's you know. But, okay. Um, yeah. Um, family. Um, my cousins would always do all the house parties, mm-hmm. hooky sets, mm-hmm. all the Christmas parties, everything like that. And I was always behind the DJ booth, watching them, watching them, watching them. So when I turned seven, eight years old, my cousin was like, can you, can you carry this? I was like, yeah, I, I got it. And it was a crate, mm, a crate of records. Full of, full of vinyls. Straight vinyls. <laughs> so that's how I got in and that's how I started learning. I had to do the leg work for mm-hmm. them in order for them to show me show me the ropes and everything like that. Um, then moved out to Brooklyn, um, bought my first equipment, and my father hated me because <laughs> I was taking all his salsa records mm-hmm. and Aww. trying to. <laughs> and he was like, "What are you doing to my fucking records?" <laughs> yeah. And um, just as time went on, you know. My father was just like, yo, you got to work. You got to buy your own equipment, everything like that. So mm-hmm. saved up enough money, got my first set of turntables. Nice. So nice. on my Instagram, it says DJ Smash 2900. That's the dollar amount that I spent for my speakers, my mixer, my Technique 1200s, and 216 records. Wow. wow. So that number will never... I'm, I'm going to be stuck with that number forever. So Because nice. that's the original. That's Yeah, that's what get brought me to the it. Game. So what was your Facts. name back then? Because it wasn't DJ oh, We're Smash. not going to get into that. <laughs> Everybody got a Everybody got a It was like corny. Oh, it was corny. Right, so it listen, was corny. Listen. Okay, so growing up, okay, so growing up in Boston, mm-hmm. um, I was out in the streets, and we used to tag right. our name. So my, I'm going to tell you mine so you can tell me yours. Okay. All right? Okay. So mine was Shorty Slick. Okay. I was slick as shit. Like, <laughs> okay. I will get away Let with them know. everything. Oh, that name how, is slick. how are we just now finding out <laughs> about that? Part. I'm going to get a shirt with Shorty, shorty Slick. slick. <laughs> I was Shorty Slick. So what was your name back in the days? Before we ask me, can we ask the other two ladies <laughs> to see what is on? Well, my yeah. ratchet name that everybody knows me before, Shmoney. Was Kiki. Was Kiki. Kiki? And if you asked about Kiki in Cape Coral, I throw hands. I was, I, I was whooping some ass. Okay. Man. So it did take me exactly 10 years. I'm almost 11 in my game now for doing hair. 10 years, and it took me seven years for my mugshot not to be on Google. And that was my personal thing. Yeah. And that's what I yeah. was known by. It was my Alice, my ally, whatever Alice's name. Oh, whatever a- it's called. A- 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 alias. 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 Yeah. Was Kiki. And I also went by Raquel, which was my middle name, because I didn't want, I hated Nakisha. Mm. I was like the only little Hispanic got a ratchet ass name in the first day of school. Everybody's like, Nakisha, I'm pulling up my hand, and then off rip, mm. you got people talking. So I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, today's the day. Like, who wants it? So, so yeah. Who wants these hands? Yeah. So now I'm shmoney. But mm-hmm. Kiki was definitely as retired as dead, too. <laughs> <laughs> what was yours? I was good child. <laughs> She's I like, was hey, good child. Like, just she was like, I was just Ashley. I was either Ashley or Ash. Or okay. Ash. The that Ash was probably it. was the ratchet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I cannot I can't picture Ashley I can't being ratchet. To be honest with you. Not ratchet. No. no. I mean Karen sometimes. Yes. <laughs> That's, the <white laughs> That's the white side of Ashley. That's the white side of Ashley. Yo, no, she boy. did not just say and then Karen. The Spanish side is the rooster. Mm. Okay. okay, you know, the bun, and then when I get mad, it was just like. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, okay. no, not, right. not, not too bad. So, not what's yours bad. now? So, originally, it was DJ Bandido. Stop oh. it. 
Stop it. You know what? For somebody who barely speaks Spanish. <laughs> got a real Hispanic to ass. A deep, real right? Spanish bandido. Bandido. Okay. That what is that? Yeah. A bandit. A like, bandit. Uh, like, uh, uh, like, so, DJ. like the black bandit. Yes. You know, the one with the mask. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Always stealing and always stuff stealing. like that. So... Was you always stealing though? Was you was so you? um the weather outside was, was beautiful, right? Like it was really beautiful. bright outside. <laughs> <laughs> so you said you first started. So that yeah. means you had another one after that. No, no, that was my initial name, and then junior high school came. Mm-hmm. Started DJing at the ju- junior high school parties and stuff like that, and I was known to be in them streets mm-hmm. and smashing out everything. Okay. So Ooh. people would ask I knew me. That's what smash yeah. I was like, he was just sliding and sliding like my brother. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's that's how I got the name because everybody was like, yo, who, who you smashed this weekend? Uh, yo, it was oh, this one, that one, whatever. Okay. Yo, you smashed that? Yeah. <laughs> it was always stuff like that. So the name just stood with me from then on. And, you know, I get embarrassed, believe it or not, when I say my name to like corporate red, companies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, what's your name? Um, my <laughs> stage name is DJ Smash, but I go by the name of Victor. You know? <laughs> because I don't want them to the think. The contract will be under Victor. Right. So it's just things like that. I, you know, the way that I see myself being presented to people has to be clean. So that, be that that's a good thing to point out too for the people that are young like mm-hmm. like a young DJ yes. to pay attention to what their their name their brand yes. Yes. is very brand. important mm-hmm. moving Absolutely. forward because you don't want your brand to keep you from getting contracts mm-hmm. so that's a good point to make to the newer generation to make sure that they think about that you don't want to be um, DJ Slap Ass. <laughs> right, that, right, you right. know, like you don't want to be known as DJ Slap Ass <laughs> yeah. for a corporate event because right. let's right. let's let's be real, the money is in bigger yes. corporate. Absolutely. Corporate. I tagged you. I went to see Juan Luis Guerra mm-hmm. last Sunday, mm-hmm. which was amazing, mm-hmm. an amazing, amazing concert. And his opening DJ is Dominican. Mm-hmm. He's older and he's based out of Tampa. I. Loved it. Like, mm-hmm. he played amazing. And I was like, I was like, you know what? Let me take a picture of him. Let me start following him. And then I was like, you know what? Honestly, what I felt was like, one day I would love to see DJ Smash, DJ Shorty Doo-Wop, yeah. DJ JC up mm-hmm. in a stage like that, opening up for a big act. Mm-hmm. Like, that would be a pride for me, Absolutely. any one of you guys from here from that I city. personally yeah. know yeah. to be doing that. So that's why yeah. I tagged you guys. And the fact that he hit me up and was like, yo, introduce me. Like, let's connect. I was like, oh, yes, amazing, amazing. I mean, I don't know if anything's going to follow up after that. But the fact that he even reached out to me, he didn't have to do that yeah. at all. Yeah. You yeah. know? And he's opening up for Juan Luis Guerra. Come you know on. what I'm saying? So Beautiful. you got to make sure your name. Absolutely. And now with this generation, everything's on social media, too. So mm-hmm. even if you start... I like when I first started I was just hair by Nikisha like mm-hmm. just plain Jane and I was really big on my brand like mm-hmm. I never wanted to switch my name to make sure because that's what I'm gonna be stuck with yes. social media is just too yep. big just like videos pictures you think it's a race yeah. ain't shit a race when it goes into that cloud thing and I don't know what the damn cloud be doing but it, it's up there <laughs> it's up there somewhere and you really want to be able to come back 10 or mm-hmm. 20 years from now and still be timeless. Cool. And that goes for yeah. weddings, for outfits, the way everything. you carry yourself, everything. Mm-hmm. And I think the older I'm getting, you pay attention yes. to that. So for younger DJs that are coming into the game mm-hmm. now, what would be the advice to them other than their presence when it comes to their name? Not only their interests, but what their love is. So I opened up a DJ school also where Congrats. I teach kids and Raw. everything like that. Thank you very awesome. much. From every age group? Um, the age starts at 11. Okay. And the reason why is because of the attention span. Yes. A 10-year-old, they're easy to be like, oh, yeah. They look at something else. Squirrel. <laughs> you, you just went through that just before so, we started yeah. recording. With my 10-year-old. Yeah. I wanted to put him in a damn headlock. And the boy's 5'5", five, five, 180 because he pounds. Forgot, I'm like, he forgot his equipment so he couldn't make yeah, it Yeah, he needs to get his life together. Today, so, uh, <laughs> today is a whole life lesson for well, him. Well, one thing that I do want to tell you, though, like, because it happens to my daughter with her four-year-old. He's very tall. And sometimes the fact that they're so big, you forget you kind of forget how yeah. old they are. But um, no, Ivan I Carujo know. knows better. We just had this conversation <laughs> last week. <laughs> you got to do these damn kids. Okay. You know just he's in trouble when he said the first and last week. <laughs> I know, I know. 
All right. So what is the age of group <laughs> 11. for your... 11 and, and up. Uh, so I have, you know, I had a couple adults as well. Um, mostly the adults, they just want to perfect their craft. Mm. Um, tying up on their blends, um, learn different sound effects, learn some scratching, things like that. Some seasoning too. Mm -hmm. Just playing record after record. You know, it's... It's entertainment at the same time. I can't just play a full record. Records are three minutes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Someone's attention span 30, 40 seconds. Yeah. yeah. So as a DJ, you look around, you see which pockets you got to hit. You, you see a room. group over here that they're not vibing with, but this group is all right. You, well, I'll play two more tracks for you, but you know what? I'm going to cater to these guys up. real quick to see what's up. And um, it winds up working out every single time. So being creative is super important. But the name goes a long way. These yeah. DJs, Funkmaster Flex, Tony yes. Touch. Tony Touch used his first name. You know what I'm saying? Like, genius. Mm -hmm. And he's, that's his brand. I mean, um, I love DJ Smash. Um, I smash records now. Yes. yes. There, we yes. there we go. There we go. Yeah, because you're, you're a whole family man. Correct. I'm a whole family man. Yes. So. Yeah. I think okay. DJing is so dope. Like back in the day, I used to watch BET, you know, the old night movies mm -hmm. and yeah. shit. Yeah. And there was a 106 movie and Park. With, yep. 106 Park, all that. And you had the late, late night when I had to wait for my mom to go to yeah, sleep. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. At 2 a.m. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> showing and shit. But there was an old movie. God, what was, and I think Tupac was in it. It was like very old school. Was it Juice? Juice? When yep. they had all the DJs yep. on the yep. top. Yeah, Juice. Yo, you know how bad that I waited till I was 18 to go to some shit like that? And they don't even do nothing like they that don't. no more. And I like wish battle like, of the you DJs. should do something like that. Oh. But like like in Sydney where you have people upstairs yes. on the bottom thing and really pay the different music and go against each other. Because that shit is what I... Since I was 13. Yep. I shouldn't yeah. have been watching shit like that at 13. <laughs> should but have sure was. you, mm -hmm. Shorty Dua, mm -hmm. And DJ JC. Mm -hmm. You definitely need a little bit more mixture too, though. And um, uh, there's another DJ. There's DJ Scooby. There's mm -hmm. DJ Dream J. Yep. There's also DJ Friday, which he's known for more. Who's the DJ the, from um, the radio like station? The What's his name? Um, Quest. 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 Mm -hmm. DJ Quest. Mm -hmm. And do like a DJ battle. G shit. Spin so off. that has always been in the talks. Nobody's pulling the trigger. It's not pulling the trigger. It's um, some DJs feel that they don't need a battle. They're in above order. each other. Yeah, so it it's a hit or miss. Mm -hmm. A DJ battle would be dope out here. Yeah, yes. oh yeah, it would. But it's it may cause some controversy within the DJ community. Okay. So. I feel like competition is very good. It's always good. the best. Yes. It's always the best. I healthy, absolutely healthy. healthy. It's very healthy. Healthy. Right. healthy competition. And you know what? This is a this is the problem. This I feel there's a problem with this country. Okay, let me tell mm. you when this country went to shits. When they started giving out participation awards. That part. Even for baseball players, knowing they saw okay. the game bench the whole day. <laughs> participation awards. This newer generation do not know how to lose gracefully. Exactly. Right. right. That's know. the problem. Yeah. The problem is that people don't know how to compete mm -hmm. and lose and then get back up and just, okay, I lost. All right, I'm going to come back next year better. Facts. Facts. That's all we yeah. need. Like, for it, like, that will be, do like, I will pay money Hell yeah. to yeah. go to a DJ I'll pay battle. I'll pay $50, $60 as long as I got to drink some food. Absolutely. And I'll buy ball night. And the reason why is because it has a story. It's going to have a story. Exactly. Yeah. And it's history being yeah. made. Because exactly. Because these DJs... Southwest Florida is big, but it's very small. Everybody Absolutely. knows everybody, everybody no matter everybody. what you think. Mm -hmm. And honestly, there's a lot of DJs that we all know. They're commercial DJs. Mm -hmm. yeah. I won't go to certain clubs because I'm like, I can listen to that 105.5. I'm straight. And then there's other DJs. Like, I go to that little small, um, God, it's like an art bar in Fort Myers. Space 39. Space 39. I'm not going to lie. I fucking love it. Mm -hmm. They've got the best martinis. They yep. play a little old school. They got live bands and stuff, but yep. they mix it with some jazz. Mm -hmm. Like... It's different vibes for different people. Mm -hmm. And I think it's good to get your ass up there yes. after you've been in the game 12, 15 years because you might learn something from it the humbles next you. Mm -hmm. Very It quick. humbles you. Yeah. It, so I'm a nurse. Mm -hmm. So I'm a nurse in the mom baby department, right? Because I'm going a, I'm to a relate this to being a DJ. So. Yeah, because we be having babies. <laughs> <laughs> no, because. We have some new nurses that were fresh out of school. It used to be that in order for you to work a mom baby, like we didn't hire fresh out of school mom baby no. nurses, right? Right, right? No. So now after the pandemic, because there was such a shortage, shortage. they hired brand new nurses. Mm. 
these nurses are complaining about having four moms and four babies. Bitch, please. <laughs> like, go to ICU, yeah. go to yeah. med surge, yeah. where patients are literally crashing, throwing poop at you, peeing at you, mm -hmm. sundowners. Like, I worked in the med surge world before I became a nurse, so mom baby is like cakewalk for me. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I feel like DJs should, this should be mm -hmm. like a, you need to pave the way. Like you, yeah. you got to pay your dues. Exactly. Be, Understood. Before Understood. you get to a certain, you know what I'm saying? Understood. And and you could never be too high. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I have a DJ that's a friend of mine, more like close family friend. And I called him. Um, so the same question I asked you yesterday, mm -hmm. I asked him, I said, hey, What's the best way to make a playlist? Da, 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 da. And he's like, he told me. And then he was like, man, I'm glad you didn't ask me to make the playlist for you. Because da, da, da. I was like. Because they, they don't keep in. I'm keep like, but yeah. you're a DJ. Yeah. Like, you should have that, like, in your repertoire. Like, if I ask you for a playlist for, like, a. A wedding. Venue. A wedding. Like, you, sh you have that. Right. But, all right. So, this is the thing. Okay. I'll be honest with you. All right. The way it works is. The playlist that I think might work for your wedding might not be. Yours. Okay. So what I do is I ask the customer, give me 20 songs mm -hmm. and I'm going to play around that. Because at it. least I know mm -hmm. you, gave, you gave, yeah, you gave you me a, a little bit on the plate. Now I'm going to make a whole platter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now you're going to so, make a whole buffet. Damn yeah. right. Yeah. So it's, um, I always want to make sure that, um, that I cater to, to the best of what you expect of me. Mm -hmm. So when people ask, yo, can you give me a playlist? I really can't. I need to know, know what know you their, want. Their yeah, taste. I need to know what you want first and then I can add more seasoning to it. For Got you. it. So. I honestly feel like a lot of DJs are getting very lazy now because mm -hmm. all I see is them walk around with a damn laptop. Mm -hmm. I'll be real with you. I can download a whole bunch of music yes. put Pandora, Pandora on and Pandora give me a good oh, shuffle. Oh, Pandora be A lit. great shuffle because I sit here jamming some Motown, mm -hmm. Kevin Gage. You might get a little yep. boost. You might get some Fleetwood. Mm -hmm. So it's a good mixture. I don't see that authentic mixing mixing anymore the turn and tables. that's what i miss yeah. like that's yeah. what i grew up on watching so when i see a dj i want to see mm -hmm. a little spinning i want to yep. see you remix it to your own thing or be like I having wanna... a song coming very softly yep. boom it beats yeah no you got people just tapping and then they're gone for a mm -hmm. good 10 minutes yeah. Yeah. walk away and i'm like where the fuck are we going like i don't even yes. like the song like why is it garbage right now yes. or they they won't listen to the crowd like i understand some djs don't want to take requests that right. shit gets overwhelming i really yeah. do understand mm -hmm. that but if you're getting requests consistently through an event, there's that something you're wrong not doing with your job what you're right. doing. Absolutely. And you need to Absolutely. pay attention to that shit, too. And I don't think enough people do. To, to be honest, I've been fortunate enough that because I've been doing it for so long, that people come up to me and I'm expecting a request. So mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, what, what's up? What do you want to hear? No, no, I just want to give you this. I'm like, all right, what do you want to hear? Cause they're giving me money. Yo, mm -hmm. that's what they were asking me yesterday. They were like, yo, this man ain't got a tip jar. Why he ain't got a tip? They're yelling yeah. at me. Yo, they, they were trying to throw you money. Yeah. They threw, they threw the money nice. at me. Yeah. Like straight up stripping. I was like, <laughs> I should have shown a nipple. I was like, I went like this. Yo, check this out. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, you might want to put a strip pole. You know? Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been fortunate enough that I can manipulate the music. I can mm -hmm. curate a set with blends, scratching, um, beat juggling, a little of everything to keep you entertained. Nice. Doing live remixes off the rip. Yes. It's just things like that. And what's crazy is yesterday, there were two DJs right by me. Really? Right next wow, to me. really? Yeah, Shut and up. I told really? them, I was like, yo, you want to get on? That's wow. one thing about mm. me. I'm always like, yo, we're all DJs. We're yes. all in the game, everything like that. Go do do That's, your thing. You know what? And I I applaud you for that because I feel like even though I do like competition, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I like healthy competition. Yeah. And I but support should always be before the competition. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Like that support, that commodity. I'm not even. I'm not sure if I'm saying that word right. Commod. You know English is not my first. You know the Spanish. You know I'm a love. I can't even pronounce half of the shit that be coming out my mouth sometimes. <laughs> so. You know, that um, hermandad. Okay, I'll say it in Spanish. Commodity. Commodity. 
No, that's not the word that I'm camaraderie. Camaraderie is what I'm trying to say. There's There's two different. There, I know that. There's two. (laughs) Those are two different words. Those are two different. I I, I don't know. It sounds the same. Tomato, tomato. (laughs) What I'm saying (laughs) that that hermandad, that that like with women, that sisterhood. Yeah. You know that just that collaboration. I guess I should say. Mm -hmm. So with saying that, one event that I do, um, and I make sure of it all the time, is called the session. Okay. And the session is literally other DJs coming in and doing their thing. You talking so, about the live on Facebook that you be doing sometimes? No, no, no. It's um, it's a meetup where I have actually I did it over here. What's the what's the pool spot over here? Oh, Rackums. 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 So at Rackums, I had cats from Tampa come down here. Four DJs came out, Dope. and it's a night for the DJs. So the DJ gets to play the way that they want to play. Okay. Because, you know, in the clubs, you got to play a certain way Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because the owner wants it that way, whatever it is. Like if it's a hip hop night or if it's a Latin Mm -hmm. night. Correct. But um, what I do is this event is literally for the DJs. Everybody gets a half hour to 45 minute set and you show the fuck off. Okay. You show us what you do. I like that. So when you you do do this again. Straight up. It's finding another venue. And Rackham won't let you do it again? Rackham, I'm not going to say anything bad about Rackham's, but I've done four of them there, and I didn't even get a dollar out of it. Mm. Really? Yeah. So, I mean, I've, I've done it all for the love and everything like that, and, you know, the exposure and everything like that. Day, but at the end of the day, it's still I'm a business. Bring, yeah. We yeah. just talked business. about that not yeah. too long ago in here, too. People forget that. Like, even though we're friends, too. Mm-hmm. Like, people got to understand... This is our livelihood. So, yes. Like this is what before, pays our families. Before we finish, we need to interrupt. Yeah. Because we need to hit up our sponsor. Oh, okay. Um Bet. so we are gonna give a shout out to Surgical Healing. Yes. For being our sponsor. Yes. Um, Dr. Shea over at Surgical Healing. Remember that they do the gastric sleeve, gastric bypass. They also do the semi glutide oh i got it right semi glutide shots <laughs> oh weight loss injections and they also get your body snapped after you lose all the weight what do you mean snapped tummy like body contouring so really? tummy body tugs. contouring nice arm okay. arm lift i kind of want to do my arms i feel i'm like just jello nah, no yo, you just listen. need to lift no, no, some no. weight no, no. no. leave them mine. leave them because we gotta grab to- something <laughs> He said we got a grab. You know what? Something. I ain't gonna lie. The little, you know, little side thing when people have the bathing suits and we yeah. be trying to cover it with a little. Oh, my, my man said he loved that because when you hit it from the back, you got a little clutch. <laughs> <laughs> so now I just don't be can. I just be out there. <laughs> I'm telling you, because when you you're in that oh, mood, man. like a woman got a lot to think about. We're like trying to suck it in. He's like, I don't want to quit. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. You know what? Now though? I just be like, don't care. And that's so the best after time 29 to have years it. of marriage, and I've been every size. I can literally. <laughs> like, I've been, I, I have. You, so when I met my husband, yes. I was skinny, mm-hmm. right? And then after our first, after our second baby, I was a little thick. Mm-hmm. That, I think that was my best body type, like just thick, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, where I had like a little ass, flat stomach, big boobs, right? But then after my third, and then after I, I, I had cancer seven years ago, mm-hmm. and after that surgery, like just i gained so much weight and i was just big i mm. was just fat let's just put it yeah. out there i was just fat but in every stage like you have to like reinvent yourself yes. yeah you do yeah and you have to find different sexual positions for different body yeah. types yeah, yeah. i'm serious yeah, it's true because I i'm serious like, like i, I said, used to and i be been... trying i be getting three pumps and i'm like i'm tired just start coach give me water i need five minutes i need five yeah. minutes right Yo, now i got a cramp in my Straight leg I can't even... we both be holding each other i'm like it's all right babe we got it we got it, we got it. <laughs> come back in the, in the morning time again try it again let's try it no again. but seriously like your body, as a woman, your body changes so much before and after kids, and yeah. um, after thirty, sometimes. after thirty, you're you're you don't lose weight mm-hmm. the way you used to, yeah, right. and after that. forty, your you know your body changes so much, and hormone hormonally, your your hormones are out of whack, right. you know, after thirty, mm-hmm. forty years old, so you know you have to like reinvent yourself, and let me tell you something, there's nothing sexier than your man telling you what you said yeah like facts i even when i was 265 pounds you couldn't tell me nothing because my husband would tell me every single time 
you're beautiful i love you confidence like yes. mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying so guys out there boost your girl's confidence because just one word will make a huge difference. Hell yeah. yeah. Okay. I, my, my cousins will tell me, you're stuck up, da, 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 and you full of yourself. That's not it. Let's just, well, I've always loved myself. <laughs> Let's get that out there. But the fact that my husband always, no matter what I look like, Put you at that always told me he loved me and yeah. told me that I was beautiful. That was huge for me. Oh, yeah. See, and I'm I not going to lie, make you want to do stuff even nasty. Even nasty. Yeah, because mm-hmm. if I'm like, baby, you're so beautiful. Yeah. Well, bitch, I'll show you beautiful. <laughs> like, but same thing with men, too, because we forget, like, women are emotional, so we talk about it. Mm-hmm. We're very open. Men do not speak on certain mm-hmm. things. Yeah. So, like, even in relationship, me and my man got together a year ago. We were both slim, thick, looking sexy and shit. We gain weight through mm-hmm. happiness. Yeah. And you get a little beer. Remember your little beer belly now? But I like the dad <laughs> yeah. bod. I'm not into like muscular men, nor mm-hmm. am I into really skinny men. I don't want to move around with Substance. a zipper or nothing. I like mm-hmm. that good thing. Yeah. Substance. So there'd be days that I'm laying down and my man will say something. Like he's laying, he's like, damn, my stomach fat as hell. And I'll run. I'm like, nah, puppy, I love that shit. <laughs> <laughs> love that shit. Yes. You got to make them feel in both relationships. Because yeah. even mm-hmm. if you've been with somebody for 10, 20 years, you got to keep that spice to it Absolutely. and try different things man Absolutely. because she i got me a swing that i'm ready to Should like I, break in is it the one that hooks swing? on the door yeah but i'm scared because i'm scared the door nah, nah, fall excuse you're me good. i see nah, did you hear that you better grab some rope she some just shit. said she <laughs> just said she wants to try <laughs> that See, I got i got you all right listen got you the way that i keep is well to all the women out there, I've been married 29 years. I'll get I get asked, what's the secret? There is no fucking secret. Right? right? Keep your sex life spicy. That's that it. part. That wait. is it. That's but it. but I'm telling you. I reinvent myself. Mm-hmm. I change my hair color. Yeah. I put extensions. I put braids. I cut it. I shave it. I do this. You know, my husband doesn't feel the need. To be with nobody else because I'm a different person yeah. all the time. Bitch, I'll give After. you Britney, Raquel, <laughs> Star. Give me Let me any. change these damn it. wigs mm-hmm. <laughs> and leave the curly head out. Yep. But you do need to spice yes. it up. People get really comfortable in a relationship, right. in work, in yes. life. And honestly, when you do get stagnant like that, you can't help but the eye wanders. That's what yeah. men and women, yeah. and it's just mm-hmm. a natural yeah. thing. So when you start feeling uncomfortable in a relationship, it's up to you to make yourself love for yourself. And not only that, but the communication. Big yeah. Communication Absolutely. and express yourself. Big time, and yes. another advice that I can personally give for relationships is to make sure that you make yourself happy. Yeah. Because when you make yourself mm-hmm. happy... You it's don't easier. It's easier nowhere. to give make yeah. that other person That's happy. True. Yeah. Well, That's true. That too. And then I found like after I lost the weight, I mean, like I was I was big and I didn't like I personally didn't realize it. And then I started to get my new body and then I was like I'm going to start doing shit. shit that I want to do. Period. I'm gonna skydive, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that yeah. and then it was just like, okay. Got you in the bedroom now. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. Revamp. Get you. See, I'm a Scorpio. I'm a little nasty. You are. So, so I try husband. everything once. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> and if I don't like it, we try something different to the other things. But damn, there's so much stuff now that you can Google. Mm-hmm. There's a foreplay. There's like everything. different outfits Well, and let me shit. tell you something. Oh, you know what I did one um, last Christmas? Not this Christmas. Christmas before. So, you know, I like Sheen. Right? Shout so, out to Sheen. Is Sheen. it Sheen or Shine or Sheen? Sheen. 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 Yeah. Okay. I would hope. So, I bought 12 different, like, lingerie outfits, and I did 12 Days of Christmas. Yes. Ooh. Leading oh, up to cute. Christmas. That is yeah. wrong. I'm going to do that. And then I had it in a bag. You know how they come in the little, like, bags? Yeah. Yeah. Like, here, pick one. So every day was, like, a different present. Oh, I love that. That's small. See that? You I like see that. that. See, the problem, lingerie is nice. You got to really love lingerie. So you have to, like, I saw a TikTok on that. Women should wear lingerie more often than just having sex. So you yes. feel comfortable yeah. with it so it's not awkward yes. because yeah, like I was engaged. Like- and my third year with him, I was like, I'm going to do something sexy. I practiced this damn dance on him. And I got, I had a whole chair thing from Beyonce dance with me. And I got drunk. Mind you, I was with this man for three years. He has saw me in every shape, way, mm-hmm. form, sloppy, drunk, happy, mm-hmm. big, skinny. 
But doing that was something so new to me that I was nervous. I took more, like five shots intimate. of Hennessy, smoked two L's to the face. By the time he came, I was lit. <laughs> I was lit as hell. And I put the chair down and I had the lingerie and I was very nervous. Even though I wear bathing suits yeah. all the time and stuff, mm -hmm. I didn't feel comfortable. But it was, so mm -hmm. I didn't do just lingerie. I did like um, a sexy Miss Santa Claus I did like okay. a sexy nurse. Watch out. I did I like been a, a fucking Grinch, bitch. <laughs> 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 I would have came out with something retarded. <laughs> Listen, wait, 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 that the is Grinch lady hilarious. that comes out with the sexiness, I would have done that shit. Would have scared that man. Well, so the bo <laughs> bottom line is to just keep it spicy. Absolutely. It's I make sure that, like, even when though. my girl is, you know, she does the door at, yeah. at my mm -hmm. events, I'll go up to her and I'll be like, excuse me, miss. Ooh. Oh, straight up. What's your name? Ooh. Like, I hit okay. her with all that. We go yeah. out to bars and shit like that. Pretend. I'm pr always pretending. Role I got play. a different all the yeah, time. That's cute. All the time, be like, "Yo, can you help me out with my car real quick, or can I take you home?" You know, yes. like stupid shit like that. Yes, right? it makes a so difference. Cute. It I does love make that. a difference. Always. But then and there's times I'll just go and fish hook her and be like, yo, come over here. And she's it, like, oh, yeah, I like see, that. Yeah. That's what I like. Grab yeah. me by the neck, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Let them think there's some type of shit we, we are going on. Even oh. I like, like, so the other day I was showing some, danger. I was showing a co-worker, I was trying to show a co-worker um, a, this picture when I, when I went to DR and I was on WhatsApp and it was a picture that I had sent to my husband on WhatsApp and I'm like scrolling and I'm like, sorry, sorry. She's like, are those nudes? <laughs> She's like, oh, do you be sending your husband nudes? I'm like, first of all, they're not nudes. I was in lingerie. <laughs> but yes, yes, I do throughout the day sometimes mm -hmm. be sending him stuff so that he can know what he got at home. You know, sometimes That's you got to remind, yeah. remind him. Yeah. Yeah. You know? There's more people that do that than when you think, because I be on, I do hair. So when <laughs> they be like, oh, look, I can see this picture, and they be rolling fast. I'm like, yeah. oh, and I see titties and all that. Like, oh. Yep. It's just all a whole nother part. But no, it's good to keep it you spicy. You have to have a separate folder for that shit. I'm Nobody you. ever has time for that. You I take the picture, for that. you send it, uh, and then it's still in the camera roll. Separate folder. I took, a, I took a picture uh, topless with a uh, G-string and some heels and I, on a mirror, like a reflection of a mirror, and I sent it to my husband. I was like, hey, do you like these shoes? <laughs> he wasn't even, he didn't even know you had shoes. <laughs> Straight up, you not even see them. Talk about sexy with a slow down event. Yes. It's different this time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There is a dress code. Yes. yes. So what's the yes. sexy smooth dress code for this time? It's all white. Ooh. It's all white. And guess what? We got misters. What's do we need? The, what's the moisture from the oh, oh, oh like shit. Vegas. Oh, so I definitely can't wear a see-through white. No, shirt. you are well, <laughs> supposed to. That's the whole point oh. of the white party. Stop it. <laughs> just put on the titty tape, whatever you know. Yeah, that, like that flower. I, yeah, I, I got just, you. Do, do I stuff know. like that. Look at, he's like, oh, I like that. It's a wet t shirt <laughs> contest. I have been trying to, I, and me and him are going to be working together very soon, but the thing about it is, is I've been trying to think of stuff that is sitting outside the box. Like mm -hmm. A party where it's raining. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Absolutely. Ooh. Absolutely. Speakers and yeah. Shit. Oh kind of like uh, oh, Wet and Wild. What was that, that movie? Wet and Wild. Oh, Step up. up yeah. Step up. Oh, yes. yes. Where they dance. Yes. And the, <laughs> and yes. the water wasn't, Chris, you. wasn't Chris Brown on Chris that Brown's movie? Chris Brown's done yes. it. Yes. Well, shit in Vegas, they do the phone parties and shit. <laughs> Hell the only yeah. thing is, it's a liability if somebody slips and falls. <laughs> you gotta make them sign a contract. You gotta make them <laughs> when they buy their tickets. Is have non shoes. That's it. No, no, no. That's when it. they buy no, their tickets, they sign a waiver. That's that's waiver. Yeah. That's funny. Well, that's dope. So all white party. All white we party. Mister. Dress to impress. I'm right. telling you, oh. this event is gonna be one of. When I'm telling you the the vision it's one for and the the, books. yeah, this one is gonna be so on point, and I'm super excited. Well, damn! About so I gotta it. tell my man ASAP because I don't think he owns even white pants. Yo, you know linen, how people get are your little, man like, some linen iffy with the white. That's, That's what like, I yes. nice and linen like with a chacabana. Yeah. Yes, like a yes. Miami yes. Miami. Think about it. It's a tropical. It, everything is tropical yes. there. Tiki it's, bar. It's just you got all. Oh, the then I gotta hit up Rashida then with some body jewelry because she got the little like the waist piece. She was one of your vendors. She was one of my vendors, and I love. Her work. Cause you, cause okay, it's an all white, but yes. you need a pop of you color. Need a, some Absolutely. type of pop of Absolutely. color, you know, like yeah. my hair. Exactly. Mm -hmm. if, 
you know, makeup. and then I have some red lipstick. Well, that means I got to color my hair ASAP because I leak green for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be having a green neck when it starts spritzing on shit on yeah, me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's dope. Man. So I'm excited about that. It's so sexy be and clean on, point. on, on Saturday. Point. I'm, I'm definitely Saturday. May excited. May 28th. May 28th. From Sunday. 2 to 7. 2 to 7. And I got different packages, VIP packages that have hotel accommodation. Oh. That also have... um. Okay, so this is real new, new. Okay, yeah, this because wasn't I didn't before. even know yeah, yeah, yeah. this. No, no, I'm, I gotta level up every single Absolutely. time. Absolutely, that's, that's, that's the, the whole way thing. to do it. So, um, hotel accommodation, and I'm doing um, sunset cruises, um, which Ooh. I did last time, but now I'm incorporating all that. Oh yeah. So on the on Got my the website, link. I have everything here, but um, I'm gonna forget it. Either way, here you go. Thank you very mm. much. <laughs> but um, yeah, I have that um food drinks and it's just my sponsor packages also I was about to say you are looking for sponsors always correct? looking for sponsors absolutely and uh, my sponsor packages um also provide you with marketing so with that being said we promote your business mm -hmm. whatever you're trying to put out there for two to three months so okay. thank you blended cultures for that um, oh yeah they're taking care of that and it's all about networking which i've been learning from you to be honest that's why i'd be that. like watching you and i was like i'm gonna take notes okay. <laughs> i see how you're talking to people i'm super shy but when it's time to talk you know i'm gonna say whatever mm -hmm. i gotta say but it's just i'm just super grateful that the parties are just getting better and better and i'm having the whole city involved with it yes. so everybody that is playing from dj 007 who mm -hmm. is one of the dopest djs yes. out here He's doing a set. Shorty Doo-Wop and I are doing a versus against each other. She's also playing a set. I have Blue Note performing. I have yep. Just Be. I just... I love Just Be and I love so Blue. She's so good. Just she, Be. Like, she really hasn't been noticed by somebody yet because yeah, that woman yeah. is she's a super yeah. talented yeah. like the rest triple yeah like, like yeah. more than that yeah. yeah she dances she sings she's she a paints. poet yeah. she paints um, like she wraps, she does clothing, everything. Yes. everything. She She's is just very talented. I'm not gonna, I'm not a lesbian, but I will be for just for just be because I love Bianca and it's just her soul. Yeah, mm -hmm. she reminds so me like sweet. a Erica Badu and a Lauren Hill yes. put together. Put together. Yes. And she's never had problems with anybody out here. And that's no. what I love about her too. Being an artist is very hard Super. not to bump heads with people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's just so in her own zone that I, I absolutely love it. She doesn't even go to the drag queen shows and yeah. which I think is fucking raw too. That's as I want to go to one. Me too. You got, I want to vote. I want to go to and just one. Yes. Drop, you know what yeah, 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 yeah. I, I might break a back <laughs> say, but I want to drop like I don't know about too. dropping, but <laughs> I definitely will go with you. And I, I also got, um, I have a drummer and now I, ask for someone to play the piano mm -hmm. oh, okay. so i got somebody playing the piano and then i got a surprise for you guys oh. the only way you're gonna know about it is if you show up and where can they purchase you gotta the get your out? ticket um you can purchase the ticket mm -hmm. at smash e n t m t entertainment everybody assumes entertainment is e n t e n t means investment no sorry it's not investment um Entity. 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 That's what it is. Entertainment is E N T M T. So you can purchase your tickets, smash entertainment.com. Mm -hmm. That's dope, where you dope. get it. We'll make sure we have the link. Oh, we'll, on also the yeah. have, we'll also have the link. And share Perfect. all your handles for your social media. Everything um, down to my back page and my OnlyFans is um, <laughs> DJ Smash I mean, 2900. Did you say fans? still got back page? <laughs> <laughs> So all DJ Smash? All DJ Smash 2900. Perfect. Yep. Hell yeah. Well, I'm very move. much looking forward to Fuck Slow yeah. Down yeah. because yeah. I had a blast last time and I love me some R&B. Absolutely. Like, yeah. that is my jam that I have. That's like my playlist, mm -hmm. my go-to mm -hmm. playlist all, the, all time. the time. If I'm happy, if I'm sad, if I'm stressed, it's always 90s R&B music. That's Yo, my go-to. The music literally expresses everything that you can possibly think of. Yep. What I love about R&B and just music in general is that I could play one track and it's going to remind you of who you were with, mm. what oh you were wearing, yes. what you were eating, time. smell, 
everything, yep. like, everything. just brings everything back to you. Yep. And it's just, it's super fucking dope, you know? Yep. And we definitely had need another Soul Train thing. Yeah, that, that was super dope. That was a whole little yeah. vibe. I love that. Yeah. Even my brother got in there with yeah. him with his little nacho meat <laughs> on his chest and shit. <laughs> so I was super, super excited for that. And again, drop the address where it's going to be at. Um, Jungle Bird Tiki. I don't know the address because I just it's know how to get places. It's on 46th Lane, I believe, right? Okay. <laughs> Downtown Cape Coral. <laughs> Downtown yep. Cape Coral, right behind the Holiday Inn Express. Yeah. Where so, Perkins used to be at and stuff yes. like that. It is... Wait. 1520 Lafayette Street, Unit 1. There oh, we go. Okay, boom. Lafayette. You can't miss it. It's going to mm -hmm. be loud. And it's Everybody so beautiful. Is. Just the scenery, oh the God, yeah. the everything. The scenery was yes. just like, okay. And it drinks yeah. of fire. The bartender with the dreads, psh, take all on my point. money. On point. All my money. Point. The outside bar. Yes. Yeah. Be on point. But they are going to be serving regular food there, too. Yes. yes. Yep. Like, inside. And, um, I and was outside. super lucky that Jungle Bird gave me the whole restaurant. So awesome. now, if you purchase a ticket, also, if you purchase a ticket, you automatically entered in for a raffle. Nice. nice. So I'm giving out all these incentives so then when people are like, oh, $25, that's so much. Bitch, honestly, twenty five dollars for all that is for nothing. all that food, yeah, no. drink, entertainment, and you get to vibe out. Yeah, let's all be it's real. Fucking great. You go to Winwood in Miami, exactly. you pay forty dollars just exactly. for parking, not even yep. including the sixty yep. for a day party. Because I decided Absolutely. that shit was whack. Yup, it wasn't Absolutely. even a good vibe. The people were just sitting there taking selfies. It's one thing I can say about sold out event, I don't even see people with their phone out half yeah, the time. Yo, the you want to know why? So, why? Because I make sure to that when everybody comes through, I tell them. Enjoy it. Yeah. Enjoy the experience. Enjoy the atmosphere. The Enjoy vibe. the vibe. People have came up to me afterwards and were like, yo, I needed this. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Yo, so that fresh. alone was just super dope. On yeah. the first event, they were like, yo, we needed this. It was after the pandemic. It was after mm -hmm. the hurricane, everything like that. So instead of going to a club and stuff like that, and you know how we are. We travel to go get this. Mm -hmm. Yes, that experience. Feelings, yes. That experience elsewhere. Why the fuck are we not doing it here? Yep. That part. We're going to do it here. And we're in the city of sunshine. Exactly. Yeah. The best weather. Absolutely. And Smash Entertainment is going to make sure that all my parties are going to be a lituation. A lituation. Yeah, you should get a <laughs> lituation. That All is right. so dope. Well, I yeah. appreciate you. No, this I appreciate your vibe, you, ladies. Everything. Yes. And remember, he also does classes of you want to get your kids. It's yes. almost summertime. Get them involved with something that's really gonna motivate them and something they can actually make money on. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because mm -hmm. I teach you, I teach you not only the the skill set, but I also teach you the business behind it. How to brand yourself. What to charge. What to expect. Is there a cost for that class? Yes, there is. All right. Um, you Starting can, price. Starting. Um, let's say if you want to just start for, you just want one lesson, it's 50 bucks for an hour. It's okay. Bad. But I do have package deals where it's an eight-week course. Okay. Um, introduction to DJing. Mm -hmm. um, you can have the option to purchase the controller and speakers okay. as well. Or you could just practice with me. Whatever okay. you want. Awesome. But um, I yeah, love it. I've been doing that for I a minute it. now. and. Have a bunch of kids. Believe it or not, I have probably about ten DJs that are under the age of eighteen already. Wow, that's working. beautiful. That's nice. Love working. It. That's, that's lovely. Beautiful. So at the last event, I did have I had a, a little kid DJing actually, a little Spanish kid. I got. I wish I would have knew his name, but I videotaped him the whole time, Dope. and he was nasty. That's it. And that was the first thing I thought about was you, as on how he was spinning in. He was from his family was from up north, New York yeah. style. Yeah. You don't see that a lot out here. Yes. So that's a really good. Mm -hmm. It's refreshing to know mm -hmm. that not even adults can do it. But we gotta start our kids young. Got to make Damn a change right. in this world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They gotta pay bills too. Get them too. off that so shit. Broke best friends. You can't afford them no more. They need a damn job. That's why my are grown and I don't have any more small children. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now I can afford shit. There you go. Because I don't have I small can't. children. My son a whole ten and a half in shoes and an extra large in men clothes. He's a needs a job. <laughs> damn football player. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for being part of Parlor Talk. We appreciate you. We are currently looking for sponsors. We have a sponsors. We are always looking for more opportunities. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to our um, YouTube channel. And just share. It doesn't cost anything. And that's the that's way right. that we, you can help us grow and share all this information and share all these. We like having entrepreneurs here in our pod, in our podcast because we want to grow our community. Mm -hmm. Parlor Talk is a safe space for everybody to come in and just share their experiences and share their entrepreneurship and for everybody out here so we can know each other so that we can help each other grow. Exactly. Right? Um, my name is Dee Dominguez. Thank you so much for 
watching us, and we will see you next time. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> oh, look, we gotta. This ain't we ain't in there. Uh, this is your girl in your Phoenix. Catch me on in your Phoenix on all social media platforms. We are looking for sponsors, male, female. I don't care. Hit us up. That's it. She, and also make sure you let them know that you won your award. That's what I was pointing Oh, oh. oh. That. oh wait. Oh. Well, yeah, look, I don't know. Look, we need to practice. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. Congratulations. That's what we did. Yes. yes. That's what I'm yes. talking about. Well, just so you guys know, Anya Phoenix is not just our co-host. She is a multi-talented. Jack of all trades. Jack of all trades. And this past weekend, they won third place at the Food Truck Wars. Speaks nice. volumes, because that's okay. a lot of food trucks. Yeah. It yeah. was 40 food trucks. What? And they won third yeah. place. Yes. That's a blessing. Congratulations. And the food is the delicious. The work was hard. <laughs> my, my mom called me at the end of the day and she's like are you okay i was like no i was like my toes were throwing up gang signs <laughs> they was cramping so bad my thighs were like it. in shock and oh, then we man. was out here yesterday for yours i was just like yo my thighs is just like killing me i was like i need to go back to the gym <laughs> straight up but afterwards you feel so good you I feel guess. so accomplished and that shows to, to run to the stage when they announced third i was like okay oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's what i'm talking oh, about congratulations, congratulations. Yes. yes and what's the name of your food trucks let them know big boys barbecue pit yes <laughs> yes she said that was and, base and why we, and we coming for more oh, yes amen let that's what i'm know. talking about go ahead with you <laughs> my name is vic i go by dj smash and you already know smash entertainment we taking over southwest florida for all the parties yes I promise you that that's what I'm talking about. And you already know it's money, the hottest in the city when it comes to hair and all that extra good stuff. So follow me on all social sites. It's May 1st. It's new blessings, new goals, new adventures. So make sure you start off this month off right. If you still haven't seen this morning, tonight, manifest what you want because what you mm -hmm. speak in just in time is what mm -hmm. happens. So don't speak negative, speak positive. You're not trying, we are doing. That's right. Yeah, I need to tell myself that this morning. So you already know it's money. <laughs> All right. See you guys next week. Thank you. Peace. Yay. Yeah, because I'll damn sure we're sleeping every five minutes somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and like it's a new month, new goals. We got to do it. It's like, get up, Keisha.